Alex Mann's awesome try for Wales on Saturday was not Will Stewart's fault. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. Like many, I watched in awe as Wales tore through the middle of England's defence in the 38th minute of Saturday's game to score their second try and stretch their lead to 14-5. Fans took to social media to blame the culprit, the man most at fault, the scapegoat, and all eyes were focused on Will Stewart. England's tight head prop paid up member of the front row union who spends most of his time pushing and lifting and sometimes tackling speedy wingers in open play was the man being hung out to dry. After a lengthy kicking battle, Alex Mitchell did this, have it, to spread the game wide open. Three phases later and our hero finds himself at bodyguard. Or wait, is he guard? Maro Itoji is flirting with the back of that rock without affecting anything. Anything apart from Will Stewart's job. You see, Stuart now has a full 10 metres to cover on his own and about to pick up the ball is Thomas Williams, who he knows is not shy of a dummy and go. Stuart respects that. Just. I mean, realistically, I think Williams could have probably walked through this gap. However, it means Stuart only starts to move once the pass has gone. Or maybe just before. Leading England's line speed is athletic back rower Ethan Roots, sprinting off the line to smash the receiver. Oh wait, the receiver passes, before contact, back inside to the rampaging Tommy Ruffle, who gets tackled by a desperate Will Stewart, but managed to offload back inside to Williams, who feeds Mann to trot triumphantly over the line. It's Stewart's fault, right? Wrong. Firstly, while we're bigging up the front row union, can we have a round of applause for that bit of skill by Gareth Thomas, the Welsh loser? That was wonderful! Bravo! Great catch and pass. Now, by my calculations, Roots ran three metres forward and Stuart is four metres inside of him. Therefore, Stuart would have had to cover um, uh, the square of the hypotenuse pi to the power of x plus one or something like that. He would have had to have run five metres in the time it took Roots to run three. It ain't happening, people. It's a miracle he made the tackle at all, especially when earlier in the same move he tracked at least 30 metres across field to make this excellent covering tackle on Tommy Raffel. Although the less said about the technique, the better. So there we have it. The fault of this try could be attributed to many, many people, but certainly not to Will Stewart. Where would you lay the blame? 